video today, I'll be talking about the things that the, you do which the devil wants to stop you from doing. It creates fears in your heart after doing this thing. So that's what you see after doing this particular thing, you become so afraid that you even lose courage, like you're even thinking of stop doing that particular thing. Please stay tuned to know what the thing is. <laughs> Hi lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sherry. If you this is your first time on this platform, I'm so happy to have you here. Thanks so much for tuning in to Living for Christ Jesus channel. Remember what we normally do. Once you come into this channel like this, start to listen to the word of God and sure to subscribe, like the video if you know you liked it, and also leave a comment below. So to ask a question or whatever it is. The devil does not want you to be closer to God. Yes, always bear that in mind. He's pleased to see you going astray or to do anything that God hates. That is why he's trying his best to stop you from doing those things. I'm about to tell you something that is happening. Yes, you might be going through this particular thing and sure you listen to what I'm about to say. What is the devil preventing you from doing? First, I will put my Bible to the in book of Psalm chapter 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Lord is your salvation, is your life. Who shall you fear? You fear nobody, not even the devil. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my force, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident the lord wants you to be confident can you listen to this verse even if the devil and his fool rise against you you have to have confidence in god it's because the lord god almighty that you serve is greater than all those demons and all those principalities and powers all those all those witches or wizards the lord yourself is greater than them and they do not have power over god they are all spirits and they are also created and this is what the devil does not want you to do this is what the devil wants to stop you from doing. I wish you must not allow him to stop you from doing this. If you notice that and whenever you pray, maybe at night before going to bed, and you see different kinds of demons, they'll start attacking you in your dream. You start having a, tri a terrible nightmare. That's when you go, when you, at times in your dream, you scream. You scream aloud from your dream. Yes, and when you get up, you'll be so afraid. And you'll be thinking that, is it because I pray that? Is this the reason why I'm facing this difficulty? Do you know what the devil is trying to do? He's trying to stop you from praying to God because he knows that once you start praying to God consistently or daily, you are getting closer to God and you are going far from Him. And he knows that God is always happy with the person who prays regularly. Yes, he knows that God loves his children when they pray regularly. And if you notice the thing that each time you do not even have time to pray, you will sleep so comfortable. You wake up comfortable without any attack without any spiritual attack and at times when you start devoting yourself for prayer and you pray especially at night so that is when you start seeing someone chasing your ear about or maybe the different kind of demons will be attacking your dream that is to say the devil is true the devil has known that you are going away from him and he knows that you are getting closer to god and he knows that your prayer has become so effective that hmm, the devil has subtlety and it has subtlety and that is the subtlety is using to stop you from praying and this is the, the subtlety is using for you to stop you from praying to, so that you get back from serving God. That is why he sent forth his angels to you. He sent forth his agents and attacking you each time you pray so that you will stop praying. God yourself is greater than any part of darkness that may want to attack you. In the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, the Lord says here, Fear, fear you not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yeah, I will help you. Yeah, I will uphold you thee with the right end of my righteousness the law says it will uphold you with this right end of righteousness that is to say that you should not be afraid of this powers of the darkness each time they attack you after praying if they come attack you you keep praying without you know you don't have to stop because of them you don't have to stop because they attack you god is watching you know he's watching when, when it shall come to a certain time they will stop attacking you after praying yes they will stop attacking you whenever you finish praying at night, in the morning, whatever. But when you see this, it's actually a sign that the devil is trying to stop you from doing what is right. 
It won't stop you. Want it, to, it wants to create a fear in your heart so that you will get back from God. So that when you, when you always see this kind of attack all the time, mostly all the time, you feel the, so discouraged to pray. Because you think that if you do not pray, you feel so relieved that you will not even see any demons attacking you at night after praying or in your dream. That is the subtlety of the devil and you must be very careful not to fall into his trap. He wants to stop you from praying. That is why he sent his agents to attack you, to stop you from praying. You must be courageous. You must have confidence in God because the God you serve is greater than every power under the sun and is capable to deliver you from the force, from all your force, from all the principalities and powers. Yes, the power of God is powerful to deliver you and the height of God is upon you. Let me come back to that verse. Sam chapter chapter 27. Sorry for the light. Actually, I the weather is so dark outside. I don't know if it's about to rain. Maybe that's why the weather is so dark. Despite owning almost three uh, bulbs. <laughs> yeah, despite owning three bulbs, it's still dark. But please bear with me, okay? Well, in verse 3, the, 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 the Bible says here in the, in the book of Sam, that is, my heart shall not fear. That is, when you devote your, uh, devote your life to God and you do, and you have a confidence and you say in your heart that your heart shall not fear, no matter any circumstances, no matter what happens to you, you will not be afraid because you have you serve a God that is greater than every power in head. So, though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. You see this great faith of King David, and this is also telling you that no matter any circumstances you see in this narrow way, you must have confidence in God. Let your heart be cleft to God, you know, because God is powerful. You know that, you see how powerful God is. Even if the demons attack you in your dream or at night after you pray, if God put his name in your mouth when you call his name, they'll be scared and they'll run away. They will leave you no matter how terrible they are. That is why you have to keep holding on to that power of God who has the power to deliver you from the force, who has the power to save you from the hands of the devil and from his agents and from demons that attacks you each time you pray. Yes, you have to be courageous. You have to have confidence in God. It's that he has to be read it. Even if they camp against you, you must keep trusting in God. Even if your enemy arise against you, you must do what? Keep trusting in God. Even if the day must attack you after praying, you must keep trusting in God. You must keep having confidence in God. This is what God wants. Because your God, the, the Lord that keeps you, never sleeps, nor slumber. Let me come back to the book of Isaiah chapter... 41 verse um, verse 10 yeah I've read that before I've read that before I just want to read it again the Lord is saying here that for I the Lord thy God shall hold thy right hand saying unto you fear not I will help you definitely the Lord will help you yes definitely he will help you and he will deliver you from the hands of the principalities from the hands of the demons and power you know that we are not waging war against the flesh and blood as according to what is written in the book of Ephesians. yes it's rest to not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers definitely if the sees that you you are going astray from them and cleaving to god they will surely strike you but you must not be afraid. That, that is what the word does say. You must not be afraid of them. You must not fear all those powers. But you should fear God alone because the God that created heaven and earth is with you all the time and his eyes are upon you and he will never leave you. So each time demons attack you after praying, glorify God. Yes, give glory to God and again engage in another prayer. Engage yourself into another prayer and you must not stop praying because you see any attacks Because that is the trap of the devil and its subtlety to take you away from the way of Christ to make you go astray from God So bear that in mind and don't forget to read always read Psalm 35 each time you if each, each time you see all those things or before going to bed pray that and also Psalm 91 is very helpful Yeah, it is very essential to do such
Very recent, at 5 and night 1. Before you sleep and when you wake up in the morning, glorify God again and pray. Don't stop praying because it's a demons in your dream. Don't stop praying because they attack you in your dream or physically or spiritually. Don't stop. But keep doing what? Keep having confidence in God and keep praying. So, I pray that Lord God Almighty will be with you throughout the days of your life. And nothing in this world will separate you from the Lord God Almighty. And nothing will take you out of this way of righteousness. And this narrow way that leads to eternal life. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. See you all on my next video. Thank you and bye. Desperately hold on to what is true. What I know.